My name's Simon Wilson, I'm a senior solicitor, Neil Hudgel Solicitors, spe uh, specifically dealing with uh, GP negligence claims. Really it tends to be a delay in referring to hospital for treatment. Um, people often come with general symptoms to the GP um, and, and he decides not to refer that they may be something fairly minor that can be dealt with by medication. Um, but when symptoms continue to be present, really a GP should be referring on. Uh, this can specifically happen with cancer claims where, for example, a lady may go with a lump. Um, she's told that it, it's nothing sinister. Uh, it persists for a number of weeks, months, sometimes years, without a referral. And Unfortunately, by the time a referral is made and the diagnosis is made, then it, it, it can be too late and the, the outcome, unfortunately, can be fatal. The injuries that clients can suffer can range from very minor, they may be misprescribed medication, a GP might get a prescription wrong for example, um, which leads to a few weeks of, of maybe nausea, vomiting or skin problems, uh, up to the, the, the top end where unfortunately it can lead to death if a diagnosis is not made and a referral made at an early enough stage, particularly in cancer claims. I've quali been qualified for 15 years now as a solicitor and I've been dealing with GP negligence claims throughout that time. Specifically, breast cancer claims seem to um, arise from GP negligence fairly regularly. Um, sometimes uh, ladies will go with a family history of breast lumps, be worried about a, a lump that they can feel. And if an examination is not properly performed, the GP, for example, may not feel that lump and, and may decide not to refer on. Um, in cases where there is a family history, it would be suggested normally of referring a, a client, a patient, on to hospital for further tests. Ultimately, if there is a delay in treatment, that can affect the outcome for that lady um, and, and we have a number of cases ongoing on that basis at the moment. I think it's important to have someone who's got experience of, of reviewing GP notes, who knows the difficulties involved, that sometimes it may be the patient's word against the GP, what's written down in the notes may not quite portray what the, the client has said uh, and it's important that full witness evidence is obtained and that you have a specialist who knows the right questions to ask to ensure that all the appropriate information is obtained. I think we're different just because we have the experience. We've dealt with so many of this type of claim over the years that we know what to look for and that we can um, give clients confidence that the, their claim will be handled properly. People are reluctant uh, because it is their GP and they may have the same GP for a number of years, but it's important they get some advice to see whether they may have a claim or not and, and to seek advice from someone who's a specialist in that field. They just need to give us a call on our free phone number which is on the website um, and they will be put through to someone within the medical negligence department who will take a full history of what's happened and we will then give them an answer that day as to whether we feel that there's a claim that they can investigate.